Hello, scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today with a new layout for my July summer video party uh, series with Hannah Lemieux. I am also participating in Off the Board today. You will have seen a photo image right before the video started of what inspired me to make this layout. Also, I am creating this layout for the scrapbookingstore.com design team. So the scrapbooking store has a kit club. I will leave a link below so that you can find their website and also a link to, um, to subscribe as well, which I do get a commission from. Um, and I would appreciate it if you are interested in using my link. Um, if you're interested in signing up for the kit club to use my link, sorry, I know English. Um, so here you can see I have these four photos and this layout was a little bit of a struggle. So here I am just going through the papers. This month's kit is using the collection by Echo Park. Oh my goodness, I'm totally drawing a blank on the name. <laughs> I want to say Summer Vibes, but I totally can't even remember. Anyway, um... So I am using this kit and we also have an ephemera upgrade kit, which is to the right. We got a um, enamel sticker shapes. Then we also got chipboard and then the ephemera pack. And they are just amazing. I absolutely love this collection and the, um, the enamel shapes are from a Dear Lizzie collection. They're not from this Echo Park collection, but they go so well with this kit. It's just so cute. So here you can see I am using this word phrase piece of paper and I am cutting out a few different phrases that popped out at me. Uh, the first one is the summer pool time. Then I'm going to cut out summer vacation, good vibes, and I think a couple more, but I'm only going to use a, f let's see, three of them on this layout. Um, I also cut out the word summer and I'm going to attach that to the summer pool time because I like the bigger word summer. But right now you can see I have that, um, that little ephemera piece that says let's flamingo and it has a flamingo on it. I absolutely love that ephemera piece, but it is actually not going to end up on this layout and it makes me sad. It just, it didn't go well enough, um, with this layout, but when I was going through Pinterest and thinking about this monthly challenge last month, I saw that image and I was like, oh, that's such a fun summer image. And it just totally went along with this kit. And so this layout is totally inspired by flamingos and water uh, floaties and things like that. So this is four photos of us in 2011. Tinian was about eight months old. And I want to say it was June 2011, I think. I think or it might have been July. I don't quite remember. But we took a family trip down to Utah, to Salt Lake City, um, or Provo, I guess, really, I think is where we stayed. And we did a ton of family activities. So they have a lot of, um, like, young kid family experiences that you can pay a lot of money for, and we paid a lot of money for them, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun, and I took so many photos, and I just, I love all these photos. So you can see that Tinian is in a little baby floaty, and then Brennan and Jonas are also wearing floaties as well. We, at this time, they didn't know how to swim very well, 
And so we like to be extra protective of them so that they could go off and enjoy the water without mom and dad having to be there every second of the day or every second of, you know, our, our time there in the pool. So here you can see, I chose the back of that. I think that's the back of the phrase paper to, to mat the photos with. I liked the pink and that the pink totally popped the photos off of that background. And like I said, this layout was kind of a struggle. I, I like how it turns out, but I still feel like it's kind of missing something. The photos are actually going to be a little bit different than what I stop the video. I don't think I recorded finishing it, but I could have. I don't, I don't remember if I did. But um, so now I'm just kind of playing around with the placement of the embellishments and the chipboard and things that I have decided to use. And here I am going to bring in a few other pieces of paper. So I had this idea. I thought maybe I would add a piece to the side here. So I am even going to cut it down and I put it there and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do this, but then I don't end up doing it. <laughs> So I do know that I really like having that Hello Summer chipboard piece down there in that bottom right hand corner. And I also like that flamingo down there. I add another flamingo to the, the left side photo. And I'm actually going to change up the placement of the photos as well. So I am hemming and hawing and trying to decide what I want. You can see me tapping my fingers. I just have no idea what I want to do. So here you can see I did decide to put that word summer on top of pool time. And I knew that I wanted that to be the title. This kit didn't come with uh, thickers this month, which is totally fine because it came with so much more. And I love, I love it. So here is, I think this is the next day or maybe later in the day, and I'm still playing around with the idea of doing something on the side there. I bring in a different pattern paper. I really just don't like it. I'm going to mat this summer pool time on that pink and it's okay. I'm not like crazy about it, but it's okay. Then I decide to add the, do like a little cluster around the title. So at this point, I'm thinking, and I think this is the next day actually, because it looks like my lighting changed. So, and I am wearing something different. So this is when I come back and I'm like, okay, I'm going to finish this. I decide I'm going to add a banner down there at the bottom. And you can see I have that hooray ephemera piece. So my title is going to be hooray summer pool time. I'm actually going to change that and it's just going to say summer pool time. So this is where I decide I want to change this up. So I'm going to make this into a banner and I like that so much more. I don't know why, but banners just speak to me and <laughs> they I really like banners. They mean so much more to me than just a plain piece of paper. Even just a pattern piece of paper. I like making anything into a banner. So I'm still working on those clusters and trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm tapping my fingers and I'm still just stuck. So here in a little bit, I'm going to go to my friends and I'm going to say, what the heck does this layout need? <laughs> I am at a loss. I don't know what to do. So I am just gluing things down and I think this is kind of where I change up my photos because I decide that I want to bring the two photos on the left down a little bit more. I don't want them up and that's because I'm going to change where the photo or not the photo. I'm going to change where the title goes. So right now you can see the title to the far right side 
And actually, I think I kind of like it there. It kind of gives that triangle feel, but it's okay. I end up liking where I put it in the end. So I am just gluing this piece of paper on there. It um, was kind of a struggle for me. So I used some washi tape to glue it on or to tape it on and that works just fine. So I'm going to cut that down and then I'm going to attach it to the layout where I want it to go. At this point, I'm still thinking I, I'm just going to stick with this background. And I really, I like this background just by itself. It's not working with these photos. I feel like the photos are kind of blending in. I mean, they're not, I don't think blending in is the right word. They're not popping off of the background enough. And so when I go and ask my friends, um, Christy says, hey, why don't you, you know, add a border? And so that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to do it here kind of soon. But right now I'm messing with the photos and this is where I'm going to decide, I don't like having them up there. I'm going to bring it down. And this is where everything just kind of starts falling into place. And it turns out to be more of a Crafty Maggie style layout. I know this video is a little bit longer than my normal video. So I apologize, but I hope that you really enjoy seeing the whole process. Sometimes it takes a while to get a layout to work. And I just want you guys to kind of see that from me because I know I cut a lot of things out most of the time. But I just really want you to know that it's not just you. Um, all us YouTubers have hard days and, you know, we struggle with scrapbooking just as much as everybody else does. <laughs> I know it seems like we're perfect, but we edit a lot of things out. <laughs> okay, so this is where I decide I'm moving that title piece over there to the left side, and then I add that cute little unicorn chipboard piece that I absolutely love. Now I'm going to add some of the um, enamel shapes in each one of the clusters. I do one heart in the summer vacation cluster. I do two flowers in the title cluster. And then I do three um, enamel shapes in the other cluster, the Hello Summer cluster down at the bottom right. So this is where I decide I'm going to cut, I think, half an inch off of each of the, or two of the sides. And at first I'm thinking maybe I'll just have the top peeking out and have it be this pink striped paper that I already have present on the layout, but I don't really like that. So then I go into my stash and I try to make this white piece work. And that just doesn't make it stand off enough. And so what I decide to do is bring in a colored piece of blue kind of navy. It's a mix between navy and medium blue. So here you can see I am just kind of fussing around with that. I ask my husband, Mark, to come in and he says, yeah, the white doesn't work. So you can kind of see his hand working here. That's him right there. And we're kind of going through all the different blues in my stash. This one is too bright. It just, it doesn't work. So I am, actually maybe that's the one I end up using. Oh, it is the one I end up using. It looks crazy bright on there, but it doesn't look that bright in real life. 
<laughs> my lights must have been on really high that day. Anyway, this is what my layout ends up looking like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you visit all of the ladies below. There will be Hannah and then a lot of participants for the off the board challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.